and we're rolling. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. This is my dear friend, Nikki. And today, we are going to be doing highlights and violet undertones for her hair. So a little different video for the channel. We're going to be doing hair color. Oh, that's the color that you said when you mumbled when you walked away the other day. <laughs> okay, but first, let them know what you had texted me and you said what about getting your hair color? Uh, do whatever you want. Yeah. Whatever I want. So I should title this video the best client ever. His nails are the same way. And yeah, we're gonna be doing her nails today also. We do acrylic, uh, colored acrylic nails on her. And every time I ask her what she wants. Surprising. Okay. She gives me full permission to do whatever the heck I want. Which is, makes you the best client ever. I'm pretty fantastic. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, when you walked away the other day, I could hear mumbling and knew there was a color in there, just not quite sure what color was said. Oh, when I went to your store? Yeah. But I've never hated anything that you did, so... Full trust. Well, in my defense, sometimes I mumble thinking that people can understand what I'm saying. And it wasn't until I started recording myself doing stuff that I realized that I can't even understand <laughs> saying half the time. So now I know why people say what a lot. At one point I had to take a speech class because I talk too fast. Too fast? Yeah. So it's instilled in my head to slow down when I talk now. How do they teach you to slow down? I just had to read a lot. It was like elementary school. I had to read the, the textbooks or the reading books and read it very slowly. I hate reading out loud, so I stumble over this table. So they made you read out loud? Mm-hmm. Okay. How old were you? Uh, I don't know, first and second grade. He's little, like play teacher. Your son is... Seven. Seven. Yeah. And Nikki recently got engaged. He did. I still haven't planned a single thing. That's all right. I think being engaged is the best part. Once you start planning, then sometimes like, it starts to get a little stressful, so just enjoy the time of being engaged. And it's so funny, I, I, like the customers at work, I see them all the time, and I had two different people who I see frequently point out today, oh, I didn't know you got engaged. <laughs> or, oh, I like your nails. Hey, listen, and my pickies popped off for the second time. So, but she, I think she's better now. Yeah, no, I think today we'll be able to put a form on it. It was, I was actually surprised that it lasted as long as it did. And I tripped on my own feet and popped it off. It was so bad. I was so mad. I probably could have saved it and glued it back on, but if, at that point I didn't care. The whole thing popped off? Yeah, in one piece. Yikes. You guys doing anything tonight? Tonight... <laughs> Um, I think we're just going to go for a drive, like a long drive and just kind of hang out. Do you guys ever go up M25, the water, water mm -hmm. road? Love that drive. Yeah. Not so much at night, like after dark, because you can't really see. Yes, but you, you kind of can out in the thumb, because you can see like all the boats out in the water or the lighthouses and... That's a good point. It's like a, like a sunset type drive. Right. Oh, that's the best time to go. Yeah, we'll probably go like later on. But I told one of my friends that I would meet her at church tomorrow, and she's got to go earlier to a, the early service, which is at eight thirty. And our church is like forty minutes away. It's really early. That's really early. But she's got studio time. She's a really talented uh, rapper. And she has studio time, like in the early, or like early afternoon. So she's got to go to church early. I feel like the people you go to church with are like the coolest, like <laughs> weirdest combination of people. <laughs> right? Yeah. We have a new series going on. 
Did you end up winning that Amazon gift card around Christmas? No. No. Uh-uh. And I think it's because, I don't know, something funny's going on because the per- lady that's in charge of it, I'm just going to speak out of my own conspiracy. <laughs> I think she's got something against me. Because her husband started following me on Instagram. And the next thing I know, and they are like the church people, like the people that are like in charge at the church, right? Yeah. Um, not really in charge, but they work They yeah. work there. And then all of a sudden, I went to like follow her because I'm trying to like be nice to everybody and then follow everybody like in the community. So I followed her for a day and then she blocked me. Oh. And then she was in charge of the giveaways for the the freaking Amazon gift cards and the Stanley cups that they were giving away. They were giving away like 10 Stanley cups or something. I'm like, I was going to win one and give it to my niece. Because I thought for sure I'll win it. You know? Now, are they like your stereotypical church runners? Or are they like down to earth, like real people? Um, The people that I've met that attend the church are down to earth. The people, I haven't really met many people that like... Like, fet, met face to face and yeah. talk, had a conversation that worked there. I mean, they seem cool, but I went for the one time when I did the, the charity. Um, what was that? It wasn't even charity. That's I'm so pathetic calling it that. We we decorated the church for yeah, Christmas. But and it turned out super cool. It was it was really cute, but like we did honestly, I would say the bare minimum. So for me to even make the video and be like volunteer work was kind of <laughs> yeah. But did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun, um, and that that's when I got to meet some of the people in charge. But they were kind of stressed out because I mean they decorated the church to the point that it was just insane, like so professional. It looked so good, and all we did was decorate a mantle and throw some blankets, and some chairs, and it was funny because so Sherry was with me. And it was her idea to, to sign up for the volunteer work. And I thought, all right, whatever, that sounds like fun. Like, I like decorating. And we're, we were there, like, maybe two and a half, no more than three hours. Like, it wasn't that long of a day. And we're getting ready to leave. And Sherry's given the lady, like, this big excuse. Like, I got, I've worked all day. I haven't even been home yet. I haven't ate. <laughs> I haven't this and that. I mean, she's just going, like, I'm so sorry. I have to leave. Um, I'm going to try to be back. Another time. You got a big old chunk of hair missing like that. Like that long. Hmm. Did you just get it thinned out recently? Uh, like a month ago. Okay. Little, little baby hairs. Anyways. In my head, I picture Sherry doing it all in like one breath as a rant. And she's just given like every excuse. Yeah. And I'm standing next to her and the lady looks at me. I said, I don't have an excuse. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> like... I volunteered. There's no, like, rule. Like, you, I didn't sign a contract saying you have to be there from this time to this time. But yeah, I was just like, I'm, I've got nothing. I'm just going home. <laughs> Sherry starts laughing. I'm like, you don't need to give her the full excuse. Like, it's your time. You're volunteering. It's, right. And it's not like it's community service where I have to be there and, and do certain hours. I'm like, I just came to hang out. I want to go home now. Bye. I wonder why she blocked me. I don't know. Maybe she... I never met that girl in person. Never. But I did, like, I don't know if it's because I was following her husband and then he started following me. Never talked to him. But all of a sudden, I'm blocked. I don't know. I don't know. Just a little church drama. You get it everywhere. There's no perfect place, you know? And the day that we went to do volunteer work, they had um, recovery. So they were having, like, AA and, and narcotic meetings in there. Yeah. And the church that we go to, it used to be an old AMC theater. Yeah, so it's huge. It's huge. And they're in, like, this theater room, and they're just blaring music and stuff, and I was kind of like, man, I want to go there. Because that seemed like it was fun. You can go hang out in AA for a little bit. Why not? I'm technically, I, I'm recovered from, what's it called? Marijuana. I smoke that, that shit all the time. No more. No offense, but I don't think you could last in AA. I could last in AA? No. What's wrong? What do you mean? You couldn't do, what was it, sober January? I did sober November. Uh-huh. Sober October. Uh-huh. Well, January, I had a little fun. I could do it. Oh, for sure. 
I could definitely do it. I couldn't. After them $5 Muchos, the Adios ones in Grand Rapids. Nope, those are good. <laughs> they're like blue Long Islands. They're, they're amazing. A blue Long Island? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure there was all kinds of other things in there, but it's called Adios. <laughs> I don't like, I'm weird. I don't like the taste of alcohol. Me either. This tastes like juice. Ooh. It's That's blue. dangerous. In Long Island, there's a lot of alcohol yeah. in there. And it's blue and all blue things taste good. Mm -hmm. This is true. This is true. Especially as a kid, you always gotta get like the blue flavor. Blue raspberry. Yeah. They just taste better. The blue popsicles always taste better. Yep, they did. The stuff that stains your freaking mouth. Yep. It's tongue. Mm. Yeah, Sherry didn't like that I had quit drinking. But I never had like... It's not a problem. I never had a problem with drinking, right. but I definitely had a problem with smoking weed. What made you quit? Um... <laughs> so... It was the day that my grandma was leaving the nursing home and going to live with my aunt. And I had been going to visit my grandma um, once or twice a week just to kind of like take care of her in the nursing home. Yeah. Because it's just like nursing homes are nasty. Yep. And you've got one person taking care per like 40 patients. Yep. So I went a lot and I remember smoking that day and I had smoked the last of my stash and I had I was I was smoking probably I'd say an ounce of weed every week to two weeks so a lot like I would go through it let's yeah. say on average every every other week I'd smoke an ounce so at least at least two ounces a month now is this back when you had to find a dealer or when you could go down the road to a dispensary I mean you could go down the road to a dispensary and it was cheaper to actually go to a dispensary I had my my license for a while actually years but I mean we would still like buy from people okay. you know well when I got home I had already smoked my stuff and then so after a few hours I'm like all right I could smoke again and so I went to smoke again, and I was out, and I was like, all right, well, I'll just hold off until tomorrow. By that night, I was digging through my ashtray looking for, like... Anything? Anything. And telling myself, like, I'm not going to the dispensary. And it's like when you're trying to give up sugar and you're eating food out of the garbage. Like, that's when I knew, I'm like, I have a problem. Yeah. So the next day... I'm like, all right, I'm not going to smoke. And it was the first morning that I hadn't smoked anything. And I started um, getting, like, like sweaty and, and started shaking a little bit. Like, I was, I, I legitimately went through, like, a type of detox. Jeez. By day three, I had full-blown tremors. Like, it got worse. By three, it was probably the worst of the worst. And then... A week was hard. It, it took a, a good 30 days to go through it all and then that's insane yeah it was it was pretty bad <clears throat> so it was like the the worse I got the more I knew like how much my body was just used to that and the crazy thing is is I started looking up videos of other people who had quit and a lot of people had the same experience hmm. like I couldn't eat for like a week I couldn't sleep for a week it was awful Fast forward a year later, I sleep great. I eat more than ever, like more than having munchies. Now I'm like, crap, I need to cool it on the sweets. I've been on a sweets kick. What's your go-to? Uh, gummies have always been like my go-to, but since Easter, I made a couple desserts and uh, I've just been snacking on like cakes and cookies and Dunkaroo dip that Blake convinced Dunkaroo! me. Dunkaroo! Yeah. It was so easy to make, but uh, Blake made it, and I just mixed it together since I have everything under the sun from Avery's job except for a, a mixer, and, and yeah, I've been eating it all. Kind of glad Blake's gone. I can get rid of the Dunkaroo dip and quit eating it. So how do you make Dunkaroo dip? It was Cool Whip, uh, Funfetti cake mix, and then... Two eggs and vanilla. That's it? Yeah. It was on Pinterest. 
Does it taste like the Dunkaroos? Yeah. Ooh. And like you can add more Cool Whip to make it more creamy, but my, mine was super thick. What do you eat it with? Animal crackers? I or? got uh, the sticks of graham crackers. Oh, the graham cracker sticks. Like the Scoopy Snacks? Yeah. Like the graham cracker ones? Yeah. Yep. And then vanilla wafers. And then, Ooh. because Funfetti was on sale at Myers, I got two for, like, two for three dollars or something insanely cheap. I made this sugar cookie Funfetti cake cookie thing. I don't know. It, they ate the shit out of it. You m m don't follow the directions on the box. You mix the sugar cookie and the fun Funfetti and something else, I think it was butter, and mix it together and frost it and bake it, and they ate the shit out of it. And that I, sounds good. It was super sweet. It was heavy. It was too sweet for me. But I got pink frosting and I was afraid it was going to stain everyone. And I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> it was like hot pink, like Barbie pink frosting. Yeah, we like... He likes cookies, just regular chocolate chip cookies and peanut butter cookies. And brownies. We like our brownies. His favorite cookie is a plain sugar cookie. Have you ever tried Crumbles cookies? Yeah, they're too sweet. I haven't, we just passed it yesterday. We were wondering about it. What about insomnia cookies? Have you ever had them? No. Did I put you to sleep? Mm-mm. I have to stay awake. Just kidding. <laughs> that sugary? Um, insomnia cookies are, I don't know. In my opinion, they taste like a fresh, what color? You're gonna stab me in the eye. Oh, I am. Thank you. That would have been bad. Which one? The the one I need. What did you need? I watched the little pointy piece get closer and closer. I'm glad you said something. I'm very close to <laughs> like that. <laughs> Not a risk I'm willing to take today. Not today. Mm. We need that eye. I feel like it's been forever since I've been here. In the chair and in the, here in general. This is true. Because your nails are, what, four weeks today, I think. Because you had to go to Grand Rapids when you were, like, due. Yeah. Let me see your nails. Oh, girl, this is going to be a transformation. Yeah. Look, you can do his nail there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it popped right off. Little baby nail. I know, a little, little amputee finger. Mm -hmm. First time for everything. We've been doing your nails since what, August? Yeah. And you just now had an issue. And I'm surprised. Like, I'm rough with my hands. So that's kind of why I do nails so thick. I'm the same way. Like, I don't want to have to, like, be careful when I'm zipping up my pants because I might break a nail or mm -hmm. putting on my shoes. Like, I like them a little bit thicker, know that it's. Not crazy thick, but enough to where you feel secure with them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. You said your Easter bunny is out. Yeah, you wanna know why? One, I'm lazy. And two, I put it out the day before, uh, two days before Easter. Cause Linda was coming last week and I'm like, oh, I gotta put some stuff out for Easter. So. so I still have Valentine's Day out, and my kid reminds me every day that Valentine's Day is a long time ago. Yeah, but it's cute because they're just hearts. You decorate for Valentine's Day? It was just like three little trinkets I got from work. Well, you're fine. Does it say Happy Valentine's Day? No, it says like Be Mine or Love You or something, something little. Well. But we're starting to get all this, this summery. Yeah, it, you are. It's not... You don't like it? It's not like summer, it's like hippie, like boho stuff and like meets Tiger King and I love it. It's so fun. So once we get it all in, then I'm gonna have to buy some new stuff. Hello, Cleo. She's just watching. Curious, curious really nice out. It is. Today's nice and um, tomorrow's supposed to be nice too. Yeah, when I do your nails, I'll put on uh, one of KP's songs. 
She's talented. The girl I'm going to church with tomorrow. Yeah. So it's Sherry's daughter's friend. Yeah, I think you've told me about her before. She went with us to the watch party for the Detroit Lions. She was there. <laughs> She's an old soul. I'm like, I can't really say that about a lot of young people. Mm -mm. Especially nowadays, but yeah, she's a really old soul. Which is hard to find with these kids these days. It's like somebody reincarnated. Because mm -hmm. Sherry jokes with me all the time. She's like, thinks that I'm older than her a lot of the times. And she's, what, 13 years older than me. Is she really? Mm-hmm. A lot of people my own age, you know, they're they're awful. Well, I was <laughs> they just suck. They do. Well, it's they got young kids, so it's like I get it. Like that's their whole priority. Like your friends become like very, very last on on the totem list of importance in your life. And yeah. Like, if I had kids, I would probably be hanging out with people that had kids, and then it would be, like, the mom friend group, you know what I mean? But at the same time, being a mom doesn't define who you are. So it you, doesn't. You still need need that. Like, I was invited uh, to go to a concert this summer. It's a local concert. Nothing extravagant. Like, I could bring my kid. Mm -hmm. And my friend would go, oh, you should bring him. No. No, let me, let me be me. Let me be Nikki without being mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's fair to me. Like, not often do I get, I'm not boss, I'm not Beyonce, I'm not mom. Mm -hmm. That was the best part about being in Grand Rapids was the nights I was, I was me. I wasn't anybody else. I wasn't needed or wanted. It was great. And it was just you. Mm -hmm. Did you get a chance to go to the Great, great Haven, great Haven area? No, no, we went to uh, Gum Lake one night and we went to the casino. I spent all of $8. It was great. Nice. I know. Uh, we oh, ate yeah, yeah. awesome food. Taco John's is probably my new favorite taco place ever. I seen you posted you had Chick-fil-A. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because I've never had it. The closest one here is Hall Road, and I'm not, I'm not going that far. No. I don't go that way. No. We don't go venture towards Hall Road. No. I do, but... I don't. <laughs> I have to. I'd... Well, yeah, you live way on the opposite side of town. But, but Taco John's was so good. Taco John. It's like an upgraded fresh Taco Bell. Okay. I, I got their chicken street tacos. They're fabulous. I wonder if Linda's ever gone there. She's not from um, Grand Rapids, but she's lived there, I think, like, like in, around 10 years, like 7 to 10 years. Because it was right by the hotel. It was just like a quick dinner, but even though... Where was your hotel at? Um, Fordman Road. Were you right downtown Grand Rapids? Uh, we were right by the airport. Oh, yeah. If there's... Like, I, I could watch the airplanes through my window. Oh, really? But there's the Holiday Inn and then the Marriott, I think it was right there. There was like three or four hotels and it was right off the highway. And it, it was nice. Everything was like a 15 minute drive. That's great. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, your makeup still looks good for being on since, what'd you say, six? Well, that's when I got to work. That's when you got to work, so you did your makeup at what? Mm -hmm. Five. Five? Good job, I'm proud of you. So have you used your new dryer yet or no? One time. Have you noticed anything spectacular or just like? Um. I want to get a round brush to play with it that way because I got so used to my blow dryer brush. Yeah, that's what I use my blow dryer brush today. But it it dried my hair really straight, which was nice. Without it was just like I just used my normal like hair brush and it dried mm -hmm. it really straight. It's one of them. I want to keep playing with it. Yeah, that's how I had to be with my the dupe that I got. Dupe. And then I got the Lange Le Duo like three in one straightener. It's not really a straightener, it is, but you can curl with it too. It took me a long time to get used to it because you have to have the fan on 
for it to work right, what? but I got a really good deal on it. Like it's normally 119 and I paid like 40 for it. Oh, nice. It's my straightener, it's as old as my kid and starting to pull my hair and only heats up sometimes. So it's time for a new one. Mm -hmm. So I got this one and I had a coupon code and I love it because you can curl with it. You can like, people who aren't talented with hair can do more with it. Like, I'm sure you could do a lot. Me, I, I don't know hair. Well, it's different too when you're working on somebody else versus yourself. Mm -hmm. It's almost like makeup. Like, if I could take my head off and do my face that way and put eyelashes on, it would be so much easier. I bought magnetic eyelashes from work one mm -hmm. time because I wanted to try it. Can't figure it out. Mm -mm. I used. I tried them too. I can't do it. Yeah, I thought, I thought that they were difficult. And then we have like the new, like, little clusters. Come on, try it. But I don't trust myself. I'll glue my eyes <laughs> on. I'll screw up. I'll, I'll be in a situation. I have a dumb question hmm. out of curiosity. So one you already agreed. So in case anybody is wondering, um, Nikki has her it's your right, left eye. Left correct? eye. Your left eye is actually a prosthetic. So you had a, it was cancer, right? Yep. When you were a child. Yep, uh, it was uh, in 96. Actually, April 10th of 96. So we're coming up on my anniversary date. Yeah, you are. So it's a prosthetic. You can take it out. Mm -hmm. Do you have, I guess your eyelid is the same, right? So you have eyelashes on that side, or do you have to put fake eyelashes? No, oh, those are my real eyelashes. Okay. I just don't have like the insides of your eyes, so like your attachments. Uh -huh. I don't have those. Like when I take my eye out, yeah, it is your real eyelashes. Okay. Yeah. When I take my eye out, it's like uh, like a paper cut spread open. Ouch. Well, that's what it looks like. I can't feel it. <laughs> is it like <clears throat> sealed skin then? Yeah. It's like, it's you can't see my yeah, brain. Yeah, can't be. <laughs> Is it just a hole straight through? Yeah, yeah, look back to my skull, why don't you? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's just, it's just a hole. Huh. It does get infected, like sinus infections are a lot more painful because my eye socket can't expand and contract like yours can. But, yeah. Do you get sinus infections often? Yep. Yeah. I had to take my eye out and wash it the other morning, getting over being sick all week, and I had to shove my eye back in. It was so uncomfortable. I couldn't, it wasn't working. Just the eye is like hardened liquid plastic, so it trying to shove plastic into a hole that's now too small. And you had said it's a tattoo artist that does it, right? Yep. And the like red veins is sewing thread. In your eye? Mm -hmm. yeah. In the corner or something? Yeah. yeah that's Whoa. sewing thread they put clear coat over. Cool. Didn't you say one time it was silly string or something? Something was silly string? No. I wasn't. Maybe I was dreaming that. No, but that'd be neat. I feel like I'd I could have sworn you said something about silly string. I must have been dreaming that. Sewing string? You might have said sewing string. That makes sense. And I and I heard silly string. Girl. <laughs> I think I told Will that too. I was like, yeah, they use silly <laughs> string. Wow. Because they would just melt. Mm-mm-mm. Well, when silly string, like, dries out, it... It looks rough. It, you, you must have said sewing and I heard silly string. Oh boy. That's how the game telephone started. Yeah, but I've met Will enough times where he could have asked and I wouldn't have been offended. I, I think I might have told him because I thought that that was an interesting fact. I'm like, tattoo artist you silly string. Well, I lied. My kid doesn't know about my eye though. When kids find out, they try to take their own out. 
Wait, you actually had a kid try to take their own eye out? When my sister was a baby, and she, she wasn't really a baby, she was a toddler, and she saw me without my eye, she tried to take her eye out. Yeah, because you probably just assumed that everybody can do that. So now I don't really like show kids or tell kids until they're able to comprehend. And like, Nikki's a little different. So he doesn't know at all? Nope. When are you going to tell him? Or you haven't... Uh, if it comes up, I no. think I would tell him. I think he's mature enough where he would understand. Yeah, I think so too, for sure. But it's never come up. Hmm. The kids are usually the ones to point it out. Your eyes look different. Well, technically, nobody's two eyes are the same. Same with our ears. Nobody's... And your, and your boobs, unless you pay for them. Yeah, perfect. Maybe that's why you got blacked on Instagram. Because of my boobies? Mm -hmm. I used to post a lot more risque stuff, and then I was like, man, you know. I got grandkids, and eventually they're gonna be on the internet. And a niece and nephew that are getting older, and they're on the internet. I'm like, maybe they don't need to be like, my auntie! Uh, yeah. Mm. Like a, a MILF, but an ant version. Yeah, that's that thing, your auntie. I hear that all the time. I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm that auntie. That'd be one of them things I need a kid to translate for me. <coughs> Even I have younger cousins. I mean, they're like younger where they're like having kids, like early 20s, and they call me auntie because they think it's funny. Hey, auntie. I'm like, what's up? What you want? I'm a cool aunt. Cause I don't have kids. If I have kids, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, whatever. I spoiled them when they were young. That's where you screwed up. I sure did. Did you guys do an Easter egg hunt for the kids? No, we did not. Which I'm surprised because our yard wasn't flooded this year, but it was yucky out. Last year, we were gonna do an Easter egg hunt and we had to cancel it because the yard was just completely flooded. This year, so, one of the kids, okay, so one of the grandkids is not biological, and then that one's mom and the dad are not together, and then they're together. So, it's like back, I don't really know what's going on, and they would be the ones that would come to it. And so, I never know. I mean, if you're dating, if one of the stepkids is dating somebody that has kids, or married to somebody that has kids, like, I just, like, that's, like, they're included in as yeah. kids. Like, that's just that's how family. I, you know what I mean? That's how I see it. That's, I just think that's the fair way to do it, you know? Um, but I, I didn't know what was going on with these ones this year. Well, you, if you have the eggs, you can do them in the summertime and put glow sticks in them for, like, an evening time thing. I've seen that. That's super cute. Yeah, that's really, that's a good idea. I mean, I would like to do like a, I think I think it would be fun to do like a, um, a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Just in general, not even with eggs, but I, yeah, I have a bunch of eggs, but we, Will doesn't really like doing it. It's all, it's always my idea. He's along the lines of like that whole concept of F them kids. <laughs> Where I'm like, we gotta do stuff for the kids. Nope, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah, he just... And where you're coming from, but... Mm -mm. Well, I grew up with, like, family was really important, and we were always around, so I just, I feel like, obligated in a way to do stuff, and yeah. then he's always like, heck no, it's my time now. So I try to keep a balance of it all, but then again, you know, I'm not the only grandparent. There's other grandparents, and... I don't, I try not to overstep my boundaries either, and then there's, you know, envy with the ones when you do stuff, and then they, there was a time when I was on, <clears throat> I had, had a tie-dye party here for the kids, and, like, we did a tie-dye day where a bunch of the grandkids came, and they were making tie-dye shirts and hoodies and stuff and blankets. And, oh, that's fun. Yeah, it was really cute, and then we did a movie night where we put the projector up outside and had tarps out and blankets, and people would drive their cars back. And I had like a popcorn bar and everything, and that was a lot of fun. But every time I would do stuff like that, I would notice like certain people would be creeping on my Instagram, like looking at the stories and stuff. And then all of a sudden the rumors would get started and all the crap talking. I'm like, 
I just can't win. It's like you're trying to do something nice. Kind of ruins it for everybody. And then the next thing you know, I got one of the grandkids coming up to me, five years old, going, you're not my real grandma. I'm like, what the heck? Who's putting that in your head? It's coming from somewhere. You know? The kids come up with some wild things, but... Not That's like not that. something that... <clears throat> why does it matter? Like, I don't know. As a grandparent, you automatically have more than one anyway when, you know, yeah. every kid's got at least four grandparents, biological. See, when I was growing up, my family was really close, and then now that I'm grown up, mm -hmm. my family's, like, few and far between. So, we're really lucky that, like, AJ's family has welcomed me and Blake in with open arms, and, oh. like, it's, like, where we've been around forever. Yeah. Like we're not excluded from anything, uh, all birthdays and Christmases and holidays and yeah, that's just because be. and and it's great. But it's a, a big adjustment going from just me and Blake to right. now we have everybody. Right. But it's a good adjustment at the same time. Well, and I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to please everybody. You 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 can't. Um, Everybody has their own lives too, and the more you have, like, there's like, a, at one point there was 11 grandkids. Mm -hmm. You can't give all your time, even if you were to have each set stay the night every other weekend. That's your whole freaking that's six months worth of just spending your time with kids, and, and then that causes you to give up any plans you have. Mm -hmm. And that's where Will comes. You know, he's like, it's my time now. It's not my time to. Right. I already raised my kids, but. That's why I, I like doing stuff with everybody together. And I tried doing, um, like, renting a house in Florida and having all the kids come. And then you got, you know, some people, well, are you going to pay for Disney? I'm like, what the hell? Like, I don't, there's no, without even saying thank you for renting the house. Are you going to pay for the kids to go to Disney? And Will said, that's that. I'd rather go to Hawaii. <laughs> You could with the same amount of money you'd pay. That's the point, is like, and then I'm like, well, I guess we could, but then it's like, well, what, do I get another job just to pay for Disney? And I don't ever remember my grandparents having to, or feeling obligated to do something like that. Like, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's a very scary looking banana on your counter. I love dirty bananas. Ew. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. I like mine mostly yellow with a little bit of green. Green? A little bit. They're, and it's hard? Not super hard. No. Like, I've been on a banana kick. I love bananas. You know, one time Will and I went on Banana Island. What is Banana Island? <laughs> it's a diet where you only eat bananas. That is terrible. Yeah, and we still love bananas. Mm -mm. I see that on the internet. And I did it back when I was 25. I did it for two weeks where I ate nothing but bananas. Like 20 bananas a day. How did it make you feel? Um, like I was on like drugs. I'd wake up at the crack of dawn, like 5 a.m. Pew! Out of bed, wouldn't even want coffee. My skin was so freaking soft. When I would go to the bathroom, because it's called like a mono island, so your, own, your body is only focusing on digesting one food. I wouldn't even need toilet paper when I went to the bathroom. Jeez. Like, so clean. I, it was like being on a high, but you can only do it for like, whatever, two weeks or something was like the max, and I did it. Hmm. No, I felt fantastic. It was like a reset for my body. Nice. So then, a couple of years ago, when Will and I had gone vegan, we, we went vegan for a while, um, him and I t together did it for a year. We did it, but he was like, well, we got to have coffee. We got to have this. I'm like, well, that kind of defeats the purpose, but you don't feel like you need anything. It's weird. It's like a natural high. Huh. Yeah. I felt great. Before COVID, I didn't eat any red meat and I felt fantastic. Really? Yeah. I read an article that your body doesn't like need red meat. I've heard, I've heard it's not that good for you. And like your body struggles to digest it. Mm -hmm. So I, it was like. Six or eight months, I, I didn't eat red meat at all, and I felt great. And then COVID hit, and you kind of just bought what you could. Right. And the first couple of times I ate red meat again, I was so sick. Really? 
Do you eat it now? Uh, yeah, but like if we get like hamburger meat, I get the higher quality. Mm -hmm. And it's not often, maybe once or twice a week if that. I, I prefer chicken, like out of my meat sources. Love my rotisserie chicken. The ones that are already cooked at my Yeah. yeah and yeah, I get yeah. the ones already shredded up and save me some time. Even better. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see the carnivore diet? Yeah, I, th that's what one of my employees does. Yeah, I thought about, we thought about doing that too. She's, I mean, all of it's temporary, well, but. She's had really good luck with it. She's lost a lot of weight and she looks fantastic, but she's, she'll do it for a while and then lighten up and eat normal again and then do it for a while. She only eats meat. Yes. Vegetables? Uh, not really. Just meat. Just meat and cheese. And cheese. Cheese. Is that kind of like keto? Yeah, kind of. That's what I thought it was at first, and she kept calling it the carnivore diet, but she looks fantastic. But her and I were talking the other day, and she's noticing she's, like, deficiencies. And it took, like, a whole conversation for us to, like, pinpoint what, like, what her problem was. And, uh, like, she's... Like her body's hurting and and like she's emotional and sad and, and that's okay. We live in Michigan, seasonal depression is a thing. Oh, for sure. Our, our job is a, it can be strenuous, mm -hmm. as crazy as it sounds. Oh yeah, you're around the public all the time. <laughs> and it, like we were talking and she's gonna supplement um, vitamin D supplements to see if that helps. And at least until it's nice out and she can be outside more. Is she going to a doctor or no? Uh, she had a great relationship with one of her doctors, and they are no longer practicing. Whatever. And so they, like, ha uh, pushed her off onto somebody, like, another doctor in the office, and the doctor's just not listening to her. So she's trying to advocate for herself, but in, in the meantime, like, she, she needs to do something. So she did research and found a really good, like, vitamin D supplement. <clears throat> and, uh... Magnesium, I think the other one was. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure, but when you have a, a diet specific like focus, you lack vitamins somewhere. You gotta supplement somehow. Yeah, even vegan, you don't get any. Um, well, it's not as much protein as you need, and you don't get vitamin B12. Well, and then I did some a little bit of research on like eating for your blood type. That's a thing. Yeah. Different blood types require different different things. Hmm. So once you find out what your blood type is. I'm O positive. You're O positive? Mm -hmm. Isn't that rare? I I think I'm O positive. I can take anyone's blood. I think that's rare. And you can give blood to anybody, right? Yeah. Because when I needed my blood transfusions, it, it was no problem. You didn't get a blood transfusion? <coughs> After I had my son, I had the postpartum hemorrhage, and they had to give me blood to survive. Wait, like, did you have it naturally? Yeah. So, what's a postpartum hemorrhage? Uh, your girly parts fill up with a bunch of blood instead of pushing it out, I guess. So it, there was nowhere to go, it just... It, it just started pooling up inside of me and I woke up in all kinds of pain and I guess there was blood all over. It was terrible. Girl. And the nurse came in to check on me and all I heard was, oh shit. And, and then next thing I know, my doctor's elbow deep digging blood out, saving my life. Were you like real lightheaded and then? I was just in so much pain. My epidural only took on half my body. <laughs> so I could feel uh, all of 18 hours of labor on the other half. It was awful. And uh... And that's what woke me up, is I felt the pain. And they, you couldn't get it, like, twice? <laughs> they, they gave me a lot of effort. Like, they kept poking me, and it wasn't taking. But it, oh, sa wow. it saved my life. Because if I wouldn't have woken up in pain, like, I couldn't even, like, yell for help. It was so painful. That's a good point. And if I, I would have had no feeling, I probably never would have woken up that night. Dang. Yep, and then I had a miscarriage a year later, and I hemorrhaged again. So no more babies for me, but I've had multiple blood transfusions, and it's fantastic. I feel like a little vampire. So you got other people's blood. Mm -hmm. You changed your personality. 
I wonder if you get a blood transfusion and the person you get the blood from commits a crime if... The yeah. Like, I've thought of that too. I thought of that too. Then do you have also their DNA mixed with it? Did it like change my DNA? If you get another one, you should ask. Or we should ask the internet. I'd rather not get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ask the internet. Hmm. Oh, that's scary. Where the heck is Will? So he's on his way home mm -hmm. from Detroit. He did a job today. Ooh. Yeah. Did he get more done on the truck? <coughs> yeah. He put a freaking booming system in it. Hmm. It pounds. So he's got that in there. He's doing something with the dashboard he's got to do. You sound like me trying to talk about AJ's cars you know, and projects. And, and that thing, the that other thing. Connect the wires here and loud noises there. and Exactly. I woke up. Like, I can... I have a half light in my bathroom. Oh, I drink. So fun. All right, let's finish your nails. <laughs>